Hello and welcome to the Bear Pit TV. This, of course, is my preferred 11 for this Sunday's half past one kickoff versus West Brom away. We're going to visit Tony, we're going to see what he's up to and hopefully ruin his day. Formation it's obviously going to be three centre backs, a couple of wing backs, two in the middle, and three up front. It worked brilliantly against Arsenal the other week, so there's obviously no reason to change that. So, kicking us off, obviously, it's the England goalkeeper, Jack Butland, in net. He's just got recalled today, which is great news and thoroughly deserved. Three centre backs I'm going to go with Ryan Shawcross, Kurt Zuma, and I'm going to bring in Indy. And I'll explain why Indy specifically a little bit later on as I go through the squad. Right wing back, I'm going to go with Jufi again. I thought he had a good game against Arsenal. A little bit clumsy at the back of his tackling, but nonetheless a good game. Doesn't deserve to be dropped, so he will be in. The other fullback position, Eric Peters, who I think had a reasonably solid start to the season so far. He came in for a bit of stick last year, as we all know, but so far, so good from Eric. So midfield, I'm going to go with Darren Fletcher. He was my man of the match against Arsenal. I thought he was brilliant. Alongside him, I'm going to go with Cameron, as opposed to Joe Allen. I'm going to... Rest Alan for this game. The reason being, it feels very harsh considering he scored two against Rochdale the other day. I completely appreciate that. But for my money, he was our weakest player against Arsenal. Now, I'm not saying he was awful because it was a great performance from everybody, but I felt he he was a little bit clumsy with his tackling. The amount of times an Arsenal player skipped past him as he dived in with a, a, quite a late challenge, a bit of a clumsy, lazy challenge. And I think against Ars, um, West Brom, sorry. We're going to need a lot of strength in depth. We know what we're going to get with the Tony Pulis side. And I don't think Joe Allen's tackling's up to it. I feel with Jeff Cameron coming in, we've got a little bit more athleticism in the midfield and a slight, well, a better tackler. And a little added bonus to that is we can bring Indy as another centre-back, which I think will be very, very much needed against a West Brom team. Going further forwards, I'm going to go with Hesse... On the left-hand side, he obviously had a great debut against Arsenal, scored a great goal and showed some real, real class touches. Hopefully he can reproduce that. On the other wing, I'm going to go with Chipu. Um, also, a very good debut for me. I think he looks very strong, hard-working, etc, etc. And the reason I've gone with them two is because I want to start Berahino up front against Arsenal. I honestly think that was his best performance in a Stoke shirt. I thought he held the ball up like I've never seen him do. Um, he kind of made a nuisance of himself, he looked a lot more confident, he had a great effort on goal, which forced a good save from Czech. Um, this first goal for Stoke, I think it's going to come against West Brom. I feel like he's going to be a little bit more up for it, and it just seems to make sense. I'm not dropping Czech as such, I know he went off injured against Arsenal, so who knows, I don't think he's going to necessarily be 100%, and we know what Czech is like with his injuries, so I don't want to rush him back. And at the same time, I don't see any need to rush him back because the team performed perfectly well without him against Arsenal. So to recap, Jack Butland in net, a centre-back trio of Indy, Ryan Shawcross and Zuma, left wing-back Eric Peters, right wing-back Juve, further forward Cameron and Darren Fletcher in the middle, further forward again, I'm going to go Hesse on the left, inside forward role, Chipu on the right and up front Berahina. Let me know what you reckon to that formation. I imagine the dropping of Joe Allen might come in for a little bit of stick. I appreciate he scored a couple of goals, but that was Rochdale. For me, we need a little bit more steel um, in that centre of the park, and I think Cameron can offer that. Drop us a like, comment, and we'll see you on Sunday at half past one of the Hawthorns, where we will beat West Brom by two goals to one, I promise.